We have been asked to do a book about about the contact period for most of our, our writing. Roughly 20 years. 20 years, yeah. And in this case, the reason why we chose DeSoto is because he is one filthy piece of work. The guy was born about 1497 in Spain. And when he comes to the New World in 1514, he's 17 years old. He's looking for gold and a passage to China, which was the richest market in the world at the time. And what he immediately does is he uses tactics that are so brutal against the native peoples are stunning. Um, he burned his first Indian chief alive at the age of 16 or 17 and proceeded from there to rampage across the Americas. One of the things that makes the DeSoto story so interesting and phenomenal is the fact that our native peoples beat one of the most militarily competent armies that, that ever landed here. I mean, they, they took them apart, took them three years, but they did what the Aztecs couldn't do, they did what the Inca couldn't do, and this laid the groundwork for white Indian relations for years to come. Keep in mind, too, that we've got four actual records from the DeSoto expedition that were written by white guys, published in Spain, but that's only part of the story. What we have to do to recreate the Native American world that these guys walked into is we have to go to the archaeological record, to the ethnographic record, to the oral traditions of the, the descendants of these people, and put together as best we can the kind of culture that existed here in the United States. And most Americans seem to think that when the Europeans got here, that this is kind of like a wilderness and the native peoples are, are you know, running around like hunting, gathering kinds of primitives. They weren't. Of course, after DeSoto goes through and leaves the disease, let alone the, the political upset at places like Mabila, by the time Bar William Bartran goes through 200 years later, there's just forest left. Misconceptions about Native American life, there are so many. One of the uh, worst, I think, myths that Hollywood has promulgated is that they were basically savages living in a virgin wilderness. There were anywhere between 50 million and 150 million people here when Europeans arrived in the 15th century. This was not virgin wilderness. There were cultures here that had existed for thousands of years that were extraordinarily sophisticated. For example, we're writing about the southeastern United States. There's a culture there that we call the Mississippian Mound Builders. And these people, their culture had existed for 6,000 years. They were charting the solstices, the equinoxes, the cycles of stars. These are extraordinarily sophisticated scientists performing brain surgery, trading across the continent, not savages, not primitive. <laughs>